Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Shattered Glass Blur. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, one on foil, one on vinyl, and one on clear backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Shattered Glass Blur, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, I think Shattered Glass Blur looks great. I actually prefer this blur over the Studio Series 86 one. Now taking a closer look at the figure, most of Shattered Glass Blur's paint applications are here on the head sculpt. You can see yellow detailing here on the crest and the side of the helmet. There's silver for the face. Evil red eye right there. He's got a black eye patch with some red scars. More paint applications right there. You can see the red Autobot logo right there under that clear chest piece. Got some paint applications there below the chest, silver app paint applications there on the knees, and really that's about it. But still, this guy looks great. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Shattered Glass Blur in robot mode before. Did he just move on his own? And after. Shattered Glass Blur looks like a completely new figure now thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at him, he's got new yellow decals here on the head, right there in the middle of the forehead and on either side of his helmet. And he has a brand new metallic looking eye patch. I like that. It looks like he put a steel plate over his missing eye instead of just the black. Now I do like how the black outline still shows through, really makes that stand out. He also gets new decals here on top of the chest and a new decal for the translucent window that was actually like window tint. So it just darkened it up instead of completely covering the uh, translucent plastic. And I think that looks great. You can still see the Autobot insignia there on the inside. I like that. Toy Hacks, do more of these. Now on the arms, he gets decals up here all the way around the thruster and new decals on the upper arm that look like Energon fuel lines. So that's really cool. Really breaks up all the blue. On the forearms, he gets new red decals there and a decal here on the wrist. Looks like some kind of button on this side. More red decals and what looks like a readout of the Energon fuel. It's almost like Bane. Like he can activate this button and input more Energon into his body. Here on the crotch plate, we got new gray decals that look really good. I love the looks of those. Really breaks up all that black. Moving on down to the knees, we got new decals there. Lower legs has red decals that actually look like more Energon fuel lines. And there's some decals there on the toes. Now the side of the arms, you're gonna notice more red decals up here and there on the forearms along with chrome lightning effects. So a really new and unique look for Blur. So there you go guys, Shattered Glass Blur in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Shattered Glass Blur looks just as good as he did in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, the paint applications mainly showing off in this mode is the lightning decals right there all along the front. Those look so good. I mean, they really add to this vehicle mode. Then of course he has the translucent windshield right there with the Autobot logo in the center. 
silver here on the back, and really that's it for the paint applications. But what he has really, really works, and I can't wait to see what Toy Hex does for him. So there you go, guys. Shattered Glass Blur in vehicle mode before and after. And Blur's vehicle mode looks absolutely insane now. As you can see, the chrome lightning effects go all over the entire vehicle and it looks absolutely bonkers. I love the way the chrome catches the light. That is just too cool. Now these can be a challenge to put on because all of the lightning effects is on that clear transparent background and it's kind of hard to line them up on the figure due to the fact a lot of them are on black and like I said, they're transparent backgrounds. So you have to be very careful to make sure you apply the correct decal in the right spot. But man, oh man, do the end results look amazing, at least in my opinion. The dark decal on the window looks great here. There's also new decals there for the control panel and the seats. There's new red highlights on both sides, all along the sides of the vehicle, which look really good, really stand out. Here, 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 and up top, along with some there on the back. And speaking of the back, check this out. This is so cool. He's got like red Energon crystals on a see-through engine that helps power him. I dig that, that just, it's so different. And of course you got the decals there on the thrusters, and the Energon crystal decals right there on the side as well. This thing just pops now. Also, new lightning decals here up on the spoiler and a new yellow decal right there. So, oh, also almost missed the yellow headlights now. I'm still enthralled by all the lightning effects. So there you go, guys. There is Shattered Glass Blur in vehicle mode after. All right, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. This set was a challenge to apply, mainly because of all of the lightning effect decals or pinstriping, whatever it was, it was all on that translucent clear backing, which proved to be quite a chore trying to line up the sticker pieces along with the sculpted details of the figure. I had to take a couple of breaks just to give my eyes a rest. But after I got them all applied, this figure looks amazing now. And in my mind, why Blur looks the way he does is after he took the damage, whatever caused him to lose his eye kind of messed with him mentally and he needed to upgrade himself. So I can only imagine that he got in contact with Shattered Glass Ratchet here and he made all of these modifications using the Red Energon to make himself faster and more powerful. I know the designer of this set watches my videos, so please, in the comments, I wanna hear what your inspiration was for this set, because I love it. I think you did a fantastic job and really adds to this character and the insanity of the Shattered Glass universe. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah!